Hello everybody, back with another episode of my Resident Evil Zero HD Let's Play. Last time we had just uh, failed the chess puzzle and gotten ourselves killed, so uh, we're going to be starting from that day. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Right, let's get those handgun bullets first of all. Uh, is there anything else in here for me that I need to pick up again? After the last time, oh, got the grenade rounds, flame ones by the looks of things. Do you have any of those? Uh, no, you don't, but uh, we'll grab them anyways. There's something shining around the table there. Alright, there's my grenade rounds. And what is this? Oh, it's just an ink ribbon. <laughs> right, so back here for a moment. Get a quick look at the puzzle. It's a chessboard. The game appears to end in a checkmate. Okay, fair enough. Now, if I remember correctly, it has to be all legal moves. And the last time, I think we tried moving the rook just below. This time, we're going to try and do it this way. I think it all has to be legal moves, but the fact that I'm moving the king a couple of times in a row here yeah, obviously doesn't make a whole amount of sense. But never mind, as long as we get solved. So we'll uh, push you just over there. And get behind you. And push it back this way. As long as Billy's not on my way. Which he is. Come on, Billy. Shift. Over here, please. Thank you. Oh, camera's messing up the, uh, the push directions. And boy, the collision detection on this chest piece is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's the uh, Book of Evil. These camera angles are driving me insane at the moment. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Come on, let me pick it up. Ah, there we go. Can't carry this now, guess I'm full. Alright, what have we got? Uh, Billy, could you please hang on to these uh, grenades for me? Right. Let's get this spook out. And I'm guessing just like the uh, the book of good, or whatever it was called, the good book, it's probably going to have a piece in it for me. Right. Marcus's Diary 1. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care, as long as I can continue my research into Progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all this virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer, he came to complain to me again. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. To find the properly developed Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th, at last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments, otherwise I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. At last they are ready, my wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting the sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. 
Those two are the only ones I trust. Apart from my beloved leeches, of course. Ugh. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce the tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Okie dokie. One heck of a long uh, stretch of reading there. There's nothing else here. Really? Okay. Fair enough. Could have swore there was something there the last time uh, that I tried to record this. Um, examine. Open that up. Yep, and there's the other half of the uh, black statue demon wing. Alright, so let's uh, get back to the main room. Or oh, we might check out the other room just outside in the corridor while we're in this area. But yeah, I actually uh, recorded the section once before, though I say recorded, I'd actually failed to hit the record button. So I had to uh, go all the way through back, all the way back to a, a previous save and uh, start from here again today. <laughs> right, that's Right. First aid sprays and nowhere near enough space to pick up all this stuff. Uh, looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set, uh, I guess. Okay. Put the green chemical in the mixing set. Whatever the heck that's uh, used for. And then we've got uh, blue herbs. Can't carry that because I've probably got no space. Billy, have you got any space to grab these for us? Yep. And can you get the other one? Uh, the shelf contains various medical tools and drugs. They're all manufactured by Umbrella. Yeah, that's nice, but I want the herb. Thank you very much. I can't carry that either. Well, at least I've got one of this. That's the main thing, I suppose. So let's get back to the main hall. And then we'll uh, dump a few items to make room for uh, what's to come next. Way. And whoops. Through here, through the double doors. And I think it was uh, Rebecca that had the demon wing. Right. So we're gonna have to drop something. We'll go downstairs and drop drop those ink ribbons with the other ones. And then of course we'll head back up and deal with those uh, scales. Right. There's the ink ribbons, or it should be. Take those. And just plop those on the ground. And um, Billy, what did you have in your inventory? Um, right. I think we might need the flame rounds, but we definitely need some ammo as well. Uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. the statue from the scales, yes please. Alright, and then uh, combine you and you, and use the statue. Now this should be in perfect balance. Uh -huh. Let's see, passenger. Alright, let's uh, check Billy's inventory for a moment. Uh, we'll uh, exchange that with Rebecca. Uh, we'll exchange an empty space with some ammo. And combine that with the handgun. And give the ammo back to Rebecca to save space. Um, I'm still debating whether or not I need the shotgun that badly or not. Uh, well, I know that I want to drop some of these healing items before I go forward, but we're not allowed to dump any more items in this room at the moment, I don't think. It's reached its limit. <laughs> the bloody uh, joys of dealing with a game without a storage box mechanic. <laughs> nope, 
Bloody hell. Okay, maybe a handgun is enough to deal with them. Uh, somewhere in here, somewhere in Ah! Oh, ow, 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 ow. Let's back up a little bit. Rebecca, can you please run as well, please? Ooh, not that way, not that way. <laughs> There's another one on the ceiling. Ah! Right, let's see if our health. Yeah, our health's fine. We don't need the blue herb yet. If I remember correctly, blue herbs are for curing poison. Actually, let's check the store while we're here. Uh, it's locked. Oops, cameras. Let's see, yeah, uh, what's through here? Nope, oh, more handgun bullets. And another blue herb ready and waiting. <laughs> and a typewriter. Uh, oh, and there's a note there, almost didn't see that. Correctional Institute inmates list. Uh, oh, no way I'm reading all that. Transport individuals to be deleted from the records. Uh, transport art laboratory research facilities. Art laboratory research facilities preserved as specimen. Research facilities, research facilities, disposal. Preserved as specimen research facilities. Okay, never mind. But uh, I think it said that was uh, all inmates. Yeah, correction, Correctional Institute inmates list. So they're using their prisoners for their experiments. <laughs> right. Uh, we'll grab a quick save here. Yeah, we'll make sure that we've got our ammo reload before we do anything else, though. Uh, let's see a couple of bullets. And let's uh, get the save just record data. And through here. Let's see what we have. Uh, medieval uh, castle style uh, runes going on here. So uh, let's see. Is that the corner of the vent? No, nope, that's the corner of the vent. It's a large air vent. Rebecca could probably reach it if she stood on Billy's shoulders. Give Rebecca a boost. Not just yet. I want to make sure that we are somewhat well equipped. Um, I'm going to exchange that. No, I'm not actually. I'm going to change character first. Combine those bullets. Give those back to Rebecca. And then I'm going to... Strange the shotgun with the herb, I think. And we're also going to leave you with a red and green just in case you need it while you're stranded for a little bit. Alright, so back to Rebecca. Uh, if you could equip that. Equip? <laughs> if you could equip that shotgun for us, please. Alright. Through the air vent. I'm almost there. I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. Okay. <gasps> Lovely, it's a uh, torture chamber. <laughs> All right. Uh, switch box thing at the back there. And a note here. Out the power regulator. Due to the recent lightning strike, the power regulator continues to be inoperative. It wouldn't really matter about the power except for the fact that the boiler room equipment is on the same grid. The equipment is so run down, I'll probably have to have it fixed up all the time. If you wish to exit rapidly, set the indicator to 70. Check first, though, that everything is connected to the chain. Okay, I'm guessing we can't get out this way. It's locked. 
Anything on there? Nope. Power supply control panel. This panel looks like it controls the electric voltage in the room. Adjust the panel. Yep, I guess so. And I think it said 70 that we wanted that. So we'll try up. That's uh, 30. We we'll try up again. That should be 20. We'll try down. Uh, and up. And up again. See where that gets us. Hey, perfect. <laughs> Seems like I remembered it uh, well from the last time that I did this uh, recording session, where I failed to actually set the record button to uh, gather the footage. <laughs> So the steam in the boiler room has uh, stopped now. You are wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing. And I am very territorial. <laughs> Of monkeys. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Bloody jump scares. <laughs> oh. It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. As long as you don't do that while I'm still in here. <laughs> I can't. Hold on. What's going on here? Right, let's uh, quickly see if we can save her. Let's uh, check our weapon while we're at it. What do we have? Oh, bloody hell. I've equipped. Uh, I've probably taken the grenade launcher, shouldn't I? <laughs> Seems to be dead, and our health is fine. And of course, we didn't bring any extra bullets. Oh no, he's not dead, is he? Oh, no, he is. He was just uh, glitching out. Right. Uh... Actually, hang on. What the heck am I doing here? Should be checking this room where Rebecca actually is. I sure hope there's some uh, spare ammo in here because uh, we left all of it with uh, Rebecca. <laughs> um, oh, oh, loads of spare ammo. Oh, bloody hell. Ah, where the hell did he come from? Yes, crunch. <laughs> the Samo. Probably won't be needing it anyways. Uh, have we got room for the gas? Uh, not really. 
Uh, right through here. We shouldn't be exploring when we're really uh, should be trying to find uh, Rebecca, shouldn't we? <laughs> I knew that he was there somewhere, I just couldn't find it. where exactly. Oh bloody hell, this isn't looking too... Ow, good! Oh bloody hell, I've all the times to reload! <laughs> um... Right now we'll use it. Should oh, we're still not in danger, but we'll use it now anyways before we do end up uh, dying. <laughs> right now, Rebecca should be down here. You can see Rebecca down below. She looks like she could fall at any moment. You've got to save her before it's too late. Why can't I save her from up here? <laughs> okay, never mind. I uh, guess we'll check out the boiler room. Right, I uh, don't think I've got any room for those. How come we actually might have room for those uh, shotgun shells? At least I think the shotgun shells. I grab those. And just remember if I need it later, there's some uh, gas in here. How the hell? Oh, there's the door. Couldn't see it. <laughs> A little bit badly shaded. <laughs> right, uh, back along this way, I guess. Is our gun fully loaded? No, it's not. Get that done now. Don't worry, Rebecca, I'm coming for you. Don't think that uh, reloading of my gun used up that much time. <laughs> right, uh, try and remember which way it was, that room, though. Through here and on the uh, left, if I remember correctly. I'm coming, I'm coming a little bit, uh, ow! Held up at the moment. Right, through here, and the steam used to be down here. A uh, couple of green herbs, do I need one? Nope, don't need one, so we'll not waste time with that. Focus on uh, finding Rebecca. Whoop! Camera angles. <laughs> right, let's reload our gun quickly. Uh, oh, there's still more obvious in here. Don't you know I've got a part at the save, you lousy monkeys? <laughs> right, how's my health doing? Still on final level. This easy setting really isn't uh, messing around when it says easy. <laughs> right, we'll uh, have to check all that out later, as interesting as that room seems to be. Grab a few more bullets for myself. Right, uh, oh my god, so many turn-offs. Which one is it? I'm guessing this one. It looks a little bit more uh, industrial. Please don't let there be any uh, monkeys in here. <laughs> oh, nearly as bad, those spiders. Where that I'm going. Let's check in here. She's in here. Ah! Panic! Let's <laughs> uh, double doors. Where does this take us? 
I've got a feeling she's going to die on us, isn't she? <laughs> uh, yeah, this doesn't look anywhere where it should be. I know, I know, lady, I can't help you if I don't know where you are. <laughs> oh, boy. That's why that lady must have uh, an iron grip to uh, be hanging on this long. <laughs> right, uh, down this way I guess. I think this is the only way that we haven't checked yet. Ah, finally. <laughs> Don't drop yet, lady. Rebecca. <laughs> Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. No mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh, well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. Uh. Survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. So it seems like uh, it might have been a bit of a setup for uh, Billy when he was out there in Africa. Seems like he uh, tried to stop it. But uh, he still doesn't really want to admit about the uh, MPs. 
to uh, see what the truth of that is as we go through the story of its go and tell. It was a wooden box that looks like it was once filled with gunpowder. Right, uh, who's got space? Uh, you've got space, and you've got space. Okay, so it doesn't matter who I pick these uh, ink ribbons with. I don't want the box, I want the ink ribbons! <laughs> right, anything else in here to be picked up? Doesn't look like it. White wall gapes before you, the product of the ceilings collapse. Right, well, we're going to get safe here. So we'll see you guys next time.